Hi guys, today I have the second part of my how you know your Slovenian video for you. If you haven't watched the first part yet, please do go check it out. I will link it up over here and also in the description box below. Uh, but basically today I'll be telling you seven more facts about Slovenians or I guess Slovenian habits. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy the video. So fact number one, or I guess technically fact number eight is you speak at least one foreign language. As established, there's not a whole lot of Slovenians out there in the world. The population of Slovenia is only 2 million people. So obviously, if we want to communicate with the rest of the countries, we need to learn their languages. Most of us, by default, understand Croatian, Serbian and Bosnian because our languages are quite similar, I guess. And we spent our summers in Croatia and we have a lot of immigrants from Bosnia and Serbia living in Slovenia. So, you know, words float around and we pick them up, I guess. <laughs> and then most of us also speak English quite fluently. We start learning English in school from quite a young age. I'm not sure what the rules are these days. I started learning English, well, technically, I started learning it when I was three because I went to like language school after kindergarten. <laughs> But um, in school, we started having English lessons, I think at the age of um, maybe nine or ten. But I think these days, uh, children start having lessons even earlier. It becomes an obligatory subject in elementary school and it's also an obligatory subject in high school. Most students then sign up for another foreign language. Um, when they're in elementary school, usually at about the age of like 12, I would say. And then later on in high school, uh, the second foreign language also becomes obligatory um, in most cases. So by the age of 18, we usually speak English fluently and also kind of speak another foreign language, I guess. Uh, the languages we can normally choose from are German, French, uh, Spanish or Italian. I think these are the most common. I personally have always really liked um, learning foreign languages. So um, during my like school period, I guess, um, I was learning English, French, German and Spanish. But yeah, I think generally speaking, Slovenians are quite good at like learning foreign languages, I guess, because we just have to. Okay, fact number nine is, when you visit someone's house, you bring a gift. Normally, when we are visiting friends over at their house, especially if they invite us over for dinner or if we haven't seen them in quite a long time, we will bring a gift for them. This usually includes some coffee, wine and chocolates or biscuits. Having said that, no one really considers it rude if you come without a gift. It's not a big deal. It's not like a written down rule. I think it's just more of a habit. Fact number 10 is your main meal of the day is lunch. I feel like in most other, at least Western cultures, dinner is the main meal of the day. It's the biggest one. But in Slovenia, it is actually lunch. We normally have it between 12 and 2 p.m. Um, for dinners, we mostly eat like something that's quick and usually cold. We often just like quickly make ourselves a sandwich or maybe a salad if we're trying to eat healthy. Whereas our lunches are normally warmer meals with several courses like soup, main dish, salad and dessert. Especially our traditional Sunday lunches, which I guess you could describe as... Um, I don't know, American Thanksgiving dinner. We just have it every Sunday. We normally have beef or mushroom soup, roasted potatoes, meat, which is usually roasted chicken or pork. And we have some salad, which is usually based around lettuce. So we either have like lettuce with beans and people often put in garlic and we season it with like um, oil and vinegar and salt or if we go for the mixed salad then we also add some tomatoes some cabbage some corn i don't know what else and then at the end there's obviously an obligatory dessert as well so yeah once we're done we are very full and we normally need a nap right fact number 11 is you know the majority of people in your country okay maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration <laughs> but if you don't know a person I can assure you, you at least have an acquaintance in common. 
Like, yes, that's how small Slovenia is. Everyone literally knows everyone. Next fact is a bit of a funny one. Uh, fact number 12 is you enjoy eating baby food. <laughs> Let me explain. We have this product called Chocolino. This is chocolate flakes you mix with milk and they turn into this really unpleasant looking meal that is obviously intended for small children. But it tastes so amazing, we never stop eating it. So yeah, we are a nation of adult people eating baby food. And I'm not an exception. I am the first to admit I always take Chocolino with me back to London from Slovenia. No shame. Fact number 13, you are quite close with your family. Slovenia is quite a community-oriented country, even though maybe we don't think so. From my experience and observations, we are a lot closer to our parents and relatives than most other nations. I guess Italians are, you know, always considered to be really close with their families, and I feel like Slovenians are kind of the same. And we're even close with, like, family friends, I guess, because sometimes even, like, some of our family friends are almost considered like a part of the family and we treat them like relatives or something. And we also usually know and hang out with our neighbors, unless they suck, obviously. <laughs> and now the last fact, fact number 14 is no one usually knows where you come from and you make it a mission to educate people about your country. Normally when you travel or live abroad, when people ask you where you come from and you respond Slovenia, you usually get either a very confused look or a response, oh, Slovakia. It's try, but no. Slovakia is not the same as Slovenia. We are two different countries and we're not even neighbors, like we, literally don't really have anything in common. So yeah, most people have zero clue about where Slovenia is or how it looks like. And you know, that can get a bit frustrating at times. So we make it a mission to shortly present our country to everyone who is not aware of its existence. Yeah, we're kind of special like that, but you know what? <laughs> Slovenia is actually a really like cool country. It is especially perfect for tourists because we have everything in such a small area. We have mountains, lakes, caves, the seaside, really nice historical cities, so many different landscapes in such a small area. So, you know, those people should actually be thankful for us to, I guess, let them know about the beauties of our countries because we are probably sorting out their next vacation as we speak. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're one of those very few people who actually know of Slovenia, will be absolutely ecstatic about it. And if you also drop some random facts about it, or maybe know the name of at least one city or one attraction, we will love you forever. So yeah, these were all my <laughs> seven facts for today's video, or I guess 14 facts all together. I really hope you enjoyed hearing some facts about the Slovenian culture. I really enjoyed filming these two videos and I would love to make some more similar content in the future. So yeah, definitely let me know if you want to see more down in the comments below. And if you're Slovenian yourself, please let me know if you have some other facts floating around in your head that I haven't mentioned. And also, if you're not Slovenian, but are obviously from another country, I would love to hear a random fact about your culture. I find these things really fascinating. And it's always interesting to hear random things about other countries. So yeah, please do that in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels to keep up to date with my upcoming videos. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I will see you guys hopefully soon. Bye!